Good afternoon. My name is Larry Clayman. I'm the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm also a former federal prosecutor. I want to make a few comments today about what's been going on with President Trump's so-called Muslim ban. First of all, it's not a Muslim ban. It's simply a hold for about 90 days to do vetting of anyone coming in from terrorist countries, including Iran, Yemen, and others that are fomenting terrorism throughout the world. So the left, who's painting this up as a Muslim ban, is lying again to the American people. But you know what? It's not just the American left which is lying. You've got the Prime Minister of Canada. You know, the Canadians have never really supported us very much. I remember during the Vietnam War when I was a, a kid at Duke University overseas studying. Canadians tried to distance themselves from the United States. Well, they're trying to do the same thing right now. Not all Canadians are, are that way, but some of them are. And this Prime Minister, Trudeau, is a radical leftist. And he was very quick to say that this attack on the mosque, the Muslim mosque in Canada, was the result of terrorism, implying that this was anti-Islamophobia type terrorism. Well, it turns out that, in fact, at least one of the attackers was from Morocco. He was Muslim. He was yelling Allah Akbar when he committed the act, showing that what they're trying to do right now, these Muslims, they're not stupid, uh, regrettably. And the fact that they can figure out how politics are played, they're trying to turn it against President Trump and saying that his action on his temporary hold on Muslims into the U.S. from certain countries is anti-Islam. That was probably the intent. So I want you all to understand what's really going on because it's a joint effort here with such political hacks as Chuck Schumer, minority leader of the Senate. And he should be ashamed of himself. You know, Chuck Schumer is a liberal Jew. I'm Jewish, Jewish origin. I'm a Christian. And I'm very proud of my Jewish heritage. And Schumer should understand that these people are coming, number one, for the Jewish people. They would like to annihilate Israel. They'd like to annihilate every, Israel, every Jew on the planet. Christians are number two. Hindus and Buddhists come, come thereafter. This is a war. It's a religious war. It needs to be treated this way. And frankly, Chuck Schumer, the Prime Minister of Canada, and these other leftists, including the ones that we saw in Hollywood this week uh, at the Screenwriters Guild Awards, the Ashton Kutchers and others. They're either totally dishonest, they're ill-informed, and frankly, they don't understand that the American people rejected them at the ballot box last November 8, 2016. Frankly, we've got to call it for what it is. This, in fact, is not just a cultural war, it's not just a religious war, and that's not to mention the fact that I don't believe that Islam is a religion, it's a, it's a cult. Uh, religions don't believe in killing people that don't believe in their God. But it's a combined effort to destroy the Trump presidency, to reduce it to an illegitimate level, and we Americans who stand for freedom, who stand for telling the truth, who stand for taking action to defend our country, have to speak up and take action. And I can tell you something. I came into Los Angeles airport last night, and I was at the baggage claim, and there was some radical, either a Muslim or some other individual of other uh, relationship came in, charged at me, charged at other people, threatening us, claiming that we were racist. They in fact committed an assault. And we have a situation here where the mayor, Eric Garcetti, who is the son of the idiot Gil Garcetti, who tried O.J. Simpson downtown, which let him off, I could have tried him in Brentwood. This mayor, highly leftist, highly Democrat, has endangered the people of Los Angeles, and others are doing the same in other cities. There's no business for these Muslims to come into airports, particularly baggage claims, where we had a tragedy just a few weeks ago in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with some other radical Muslim who tried to kill and did kill many people down there. Uh, he has not only committed an intentional act, a reckless act, uh, this mayor and the airport authority and the airport authorities throughout the country, but they are endangering Americans. And we're going to be bringing a lawsuit in that regard because someone's got to stand up for the American people in this nonsense. So I just wanted to make this clear today. This is my message on YouTube. God bless you. God save America. God save your family, given the fact that we still have these completely unintelligible, dishonest politicians out there playing politics with this politics of divide and get votes. We will not tolerate that. Go to freedomwatchusa.org freedomwatchusa.org, and Mayor Garcetti, you can expect your complaint shortly. God bless you.